Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how to use the Q&A feature in Google Meet. Before we start, just a quick note of clarification. This video is for people who are using the Enterprise version of the Google Suite of Tools. If your school does not pay for the Google Tools, but instead uses the free version, you will not have the Q&A tool as well as other Enterprise features. I do have a separate video where I cover alternate ways to do a Q&A in Meet if you are using the free version, and you can find the link to that down in the description. The Q&A feature in Google Meet allows your participants to ask questions and upvote questions that others have asked, so that you can be sure to see and manage all of the questions they have. Here's how it works. First, when you're in a Google Meet, you need to turn on the Q&A feature. To do this, you click on the Activities button up in the top right-hand corner. This will open the Meeting Details panel where you can click on the Q&A feature. Finally, click Turn on Q&A to begin using this tool. You can now close out of the Q&A panel if you want and carry on your meeting as usual. Anytime you want to go back to the Q&A, you can simply reopen it by clicking on Activities again and then clicking on Q&A. So now let's look at this from a student's perspective. The students will access the Q&A the same way you did. We will click on the Activities button and then we will click on Q&A. We can submit a question by clicking on the Ask a Question button at the bottom of the panel. After we type in the question, we just click Post. As other students ask questions, the panel will list all of the questions. If there's a question that we like, we can click on the Upvote button next to the question to vote for that question. If there are a lot of questions, we can sort them either chronologically by newest first or oldest first or by popularity to see which questions got the most votes. We can also filter the list to display only our questions or to show everyone's questions. Finally, as a student, we can delete our own questions by clicking on the trash can icon below it, but we can't delete anyone else's questions. Now let's switch back over to the teacher view to see how we can moderate the Q&A. Again, we open the Q&A panel by clicking on the Activities button and then clicking Q&A. As the moderator of the Meet, there are several things we can do in the Q&A. First, just like the students, we can sort the questions either chronologically with newest first or oldest first or by popularity to see which questions got the most votes. Now do note, as a teacher, you can also upvote the questions if you want. As you deal with questions, you can mark them in several ways. For example, if you have answered a question in the class, you can check the check mark button to mark it as answered. Or you can click on the mark as hidden button to hide a question from the student's view or you can click on the trash can button to delete any of the questions if needed. The question will still be included in the report that is emailed to you after the meet is done. While you are working through the questions, it may be helpful to filter the list. To do this, click on the down arrow next to all questions and then choose an option including unanswered or answered or hidden, or all questions again. Even though the Q&A feature is most often used for students to ask questions in class, as the moderator, you are also able to ask a question for your students to see by clicking on the Ask a Question button as well. As a presenter, I have used this when I have a lot of topics to cover, and I want to let the audience vote for which topics they are most interested in. At any point during the meet, you can turn off the Q&A feature by clicking on the Allow Questions toggle button, and then you can click it again to turn the Q&A feature back on. 
After the meet is done, as the moderator, you will be emailed a question report which contains all of the questions asked, hidden, or deleted by you or the submitter, along with the names of the person who submitted each of the questions. This can be a good way to keep track of everything that was asked, but also to help cut down on a student asking and then deleting an inappropriate question. Note, the moderator is the person who starts the meet or who created the meet on their Google Calendar. So those are the basics for how to use the official Q&A feature in Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos.